Let's be honest, GPU pricing in 2025 feels like a psychological experiment. You don't buy what performs best, you buy what hurts less. And that's exactly where this battle begins. DRX 9070 XT is AMD's new RGN4 card all about raw racer power, high clocks and 16GB of VRAM. It skips AI hardware entire entirely, no tensor cores, no acceleration for fancy upscalers. The RTX 5070, built on Blackwell architecture, brings 12 gigabits of VRAM, but it comes loaded with NVIDIA's modern tools, DLSS 4, perfect tool. With Transformer model Gen K, NVENC, CUDA cores, and an ecosystem that still leads in software and creator tools. Yes, FSR 4 from AMD has made big improvements, but TLSS 4 remains ahead, sharper image, better motion clarity, and smarter frame generation. FSR often gives you more FPS, but the cost of softer image. And unless you are trained to look closely, the trade-off might not be obvious. Now, let's talk price, or as we call it in 2025, fake MSRP AMD said $600, in reality the RX 9070 XT sells for $900. A full 50% markup. NVIDIA priced the RTX 5070 at $550 and it's selling for around $605, only 10% above MSRP. So yeah, before we even look at frame rates, we're already in very different economic realities. And to make things easier, we built a simple program, a Google Sheets calculator that takes our real test results and lets you input the prices you can actually find. It instantly tells you which GPU performs better and which one offers more FPS per dollar, based on your local situation. The link is in the description and pinned comment. So do not skip it. Now let's break down the 40, 40p numbers and see which card actually backs up its price. First game, God of War Ragnarok, RTX 5070 delivered 140 FPS while RX 9070 XT climbed up to 185. That's a not gap, that's Chasm, MD dominates here. Marvel Rivals surprisingly tight, RTX 5070 landed at 126 FPS, RX 9070 XT higher at 128. Basically tight and one of the rare moments where the gap disappears. I'm good to go. Dragon Age Veilguard RTX 5070 pulled 105 and RX 9070 XT reached 122. Not game changing, but that extra headroom makes a big difference in dense areas with effects. F124, high frame rates, heaven. 239 FPS for RTX, 256 for RX. Both card, both great results. AMD still pulls slightly ahead, even in esports like scenarios. Black Meat Wukong still demanding RTX 5070 hits 68 FPS while RX 9070 XT climbs up to 80 FPS. That's a solid margin for a game that punishes GPUs. Outer Frontiers of Pandora. RTX 5070 scored 88 FPS, while RX 9070 XT hits 99 FPS. Not a blowout, but definitely smoother on the red team.
Total War Warhammer 3 1 for the strategist. 122 on RTX, 158 on RX. That's a huge in large scale battles and zoomed out views. Returnal, fast responsive gameplay, 136 from RTX 5070, 157 from RX 9070 XT, notable uplift, especially for a game where pacing matters. Stalker 2, brutal and unoptimized. RTX 5070 pulls 70 FPS, RX 9070 XT reach 81. Not a massive, but in these low ranges, every frame counts. Cyberpunk 2077, classical GPU killer, 141 FPS for RTX 174X, that's a 29 FPS advantage in one of the toughest engine around. Next game Remnant 2, demanding, chaotic and punishing, 116 FPS for RTX, 127 for RX. AMD maintains its lead even in dense post-processing scenarios. Assassin's Creed Mirage, 148 on RTX 5070, 180 on RX 9070 XT, that's a significant jump and likely due to RX, memory bandwidth and raw shader throughput. Callisto Protocol, 186 from RTX, 196 from RX. Both are extremely smooth, but AMD again has the edge. Civilization 7, you don't need high FPS in turn based games, but you will get it anyway. 250 on RTX, 271 on RX, or kill for sure, but AMD wins again. Hogwarts Legacy, 111 on RTX 5070, but a massive 160 on RX 9070 XT, one of the biggest gaps in the lineup, and one you will feel when exploring the open world. You can feed a beast, or it can feed you. I prefer the latter. Where did I set my traps? Horizon Zero Dawn Remastered, 139 on RTX, 165 on RX, another title where AMD's extra compute units pay off in expensive environments.
Across all 16 titles, RTX 5070 averaged 137 FPS, while RX 9070 XT delivered 158. That's uh, about 15% performance advantage for AMD card, and it shows. Let's talk about value, because performance without context is just a number. If you look at so-called MSRP, the RTX 5070 comes out to $4.02 in 4040p. What about RX 9070 XT? Slightly better. $3.78 per frame. So on paper, AMD looks more efficient. But in the real world, things change. Based on current retail pricing in the US, the RX 9070 XT jumps to $5.43 per frame, while the RTX 5070 sits at 4.43. That's a 22% advantage in cost per frame for NVIDIA car just by being closer to its MSRP. So yes, if you care about how far each dollar goes, the RTX 5070 is objectively the more cost-effective GPU right now. And just a reminder, we have built a Google Sheets calculator that does this math for you. It takes our test results and lets you enter your actual prices, and it instantly shows which card gives you more FPS per dollar in your specific case. The link is in the description and in pinned comment. Now let's talk power, because that's where the RX 9070 XT really shows its hunger. Over 16 games and 4040p, the RTX 5070 pulled an average of 227 watts. The RX 9070 XT a full 366 watts. That's 35% more power just to push out that extra 15% performance. So. What about efficiency? The RTX 5070 needs just 1.66 watts per frame, the RX 9070 XT 1.93. Not a disaster, but that Nvidia card is about 40% more efficient frame for frame. And if you're building a small form factor PC or gaming long hours every day, that efficiency translates to cooler temps, quieter fans and lower energy bills. So the question is simple, are you buying speed or are you buying balance? So here's the final verdict. In raw performance, the RX 9070 XT is clearly the faster GPU, delivering on average 15% more frames than the RTX 5070 and 40, 40p. But it also pulls 35% more power, costs 22% more per frame at retail prices and runs hotter and louder unless you invest in serious GPU models. On the other side, the RTX 5070 may be slower, but it's smarter by. It's more power efficient, 40% more efficient per frame, quieter in most builds and closer to its MSRP. And then there's the software stack, DLSS 4, NV encoder, CUDA cores, features that do not show up in FPS charts but matter long term. If you're chasing raw frames and do not care about the wattage, heat or price, go RX 9070 XT. But if you're building a well-balanced PC, want a quieter experience, better software tools and care about price to performance, RTX 5070 might actually be the smarter buy. And do not forget, if you want to see which card works best for your budget, the Google Sheet calculator is linked below in the description and in pinned comment. You put in your numbers, it tells you what wins, because in 2025 you're not just buying the GPU, you're buying performance, power and peace of mind. Let us know which one would you pick, raw power or refined balance.